G'day ice cream lovers. <laughs> Welcome to this session of Scoop School. It's always lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoy putting it on. You would be surprised how many messages we get both through YouTube but also through Instagram. People are saying, hey, I'm in the nether regions of the world and I opened up my ice cream shop based on your videos. It warms the cockles of my heart to know that this content uh, is being helpful to you. So um, hopefully you're enjoying it as much as we enjoy putting it on for you. We do want to thank Mitch Kleinman and his whole crew out there at Frozen Solutions. Huge support to the ice cream industry, huge support to Scoop School. Their link is down below. Specialty cups, printed cups, heat sealers, uh, uh, that seal the top of your pints. They rent ice cream machines, they sell ice cream machines, and uh, a good uh, backup people to have in your roller decks. Click on the link below, lots of stuff on their website. Okay, so we're gonna just talk a little bit about shake mixes today. We've spoken about them, I don't know, maybe two years back. If you've been watching these or watched all of them, you'll notice hopefully the quality and content is getting better as time goes by. Back those early videos, they were kind of cringe worthy. But we did speak once about uh, shake mix and a lot of stores now are kind of trying to signify themselves a little bit uh, differently with their shake program. Ice cream shakes, thick shakes, milkshakes um, are selling anywhere between seven and nine dollars, ten dollars. I'm not talking about the freak shakes, I'm just talking about standard really good quality milkshakes. Some of these places are using a shake base and it's a pretty simple process. So what you're doing is rather than adding milk to your shake, whether it be hand spun or whether it be in a jug, you're actually adding a mixture of ice cream mix and milk itself. So very quickly, we're just going to take, uh, and it's, look, we've always done it as a half, half measure. So let's put half of this in here. I don't know whether it's actually gonna go a half. I thought I had more milk in here, but I don't. So let's, let's kind of eyeball the half thing. So whatever milk you're using, whether it be 2% or full uh, vitamin D, 4% milk here, you'll have that go half. And then you'll take your ice cream mix. Now this might be mix that you've got left in a bag after you've finished putting it in a soft serve machine or a batch freezer. I would only use rerun under certain circumstances I would check with your health department about that. But it's basically just a 50-50 of your um, ice cream mix. It's a little icy. Don't judge me. Whee! So uh, what we would do is get a whisk here. Now I like to just kind of ramp it up a little bit as well and put a little vanilla extract in it. So I'm using uh, Van Gold by Lockhead Vanilla. Uh, it's just a, a quarter of an ounce would be fine. And what you're doing now is basically just using this, move this fella out of the way. Um, let's mix this up a little bit. This becomes your shake base. So rather than using milk, you're using a mixture of milk, and ice cream base. Your shake is gonna be so much more richer. Mm. You've got a lot more dairy note coming through from the mix. You've got a lot more body coming through because you've got more fat and milk solids non-fat. You've got that nice little kick of vanilla that's actually going to accent the flavor of whatever you're putting in there. Chocolate, caramel, strawberry, cookies and cream, whatever. I think it's a great idea. Now, one thing you obviously do need to be aware of is that your mix costs a lot more than your milk. So, cost it out, make sure that it's being portioned correctly. Most shakes take about five ounces, liquid ounces of, uh, of milk or shake base in this place or in this circumstance. So cost it out, make sure that you're, you're costing it effectively. But again, people buy shakes and they are coming to your restaurant, not necessarily just for cost, they're coming for value and experience. So if your shakes are just so much more rich and creamy than somebody else's, they'll drive past two or three other shops to get to yours just primarily because uh, one aspect of your business is you're going the extra mile with a shake base rather than a milk base. And look, you can even do a little blurb on your website or 
on the wall somewhere to say, hey, this is why our shakes taste so fantastic. We use a blend of our ice cream mix or whatever it is. You don't have anyone that's trying to lose weight buying a 16 ounce shake, just to let you know. So I think you should be okay. Anyway, that's a very simple way of uh, enhancing your shakes using a shake base. Let us know what you're using. Do you just use milk? Uh, do you use full mix? I know some companies that use full mix. I think that's a little over the top. It can be almost too much fat too much uh, body to it. This kind of blend gives it a nice kind of in the middle where it kind of makes it a bit more thick and creamy without going the, uh, the body rushes. <laughs> Interested in your experience and try it and let us know how it goes. Uh, again, while you're tinkling away down there on the keyboard, hey, uh, subscribe, leave us a comment. Click on the link down there for Frozen Solutions. They'd love to hear from you as well. Here, you can subscribe. Here is a pretty good video and over here. <laughs> That'll take you to scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping, and we'll see you in the next video.